Well, hello there again. Uh, about a month and a half ago, two months, I was lucky enough to find myself a Peterson 140th anniversary pipe. So this came out in 2005. It's a really nice piece of briar. Um, it's actually a copy of Charles Peterson's personal pipe. So he had a pipe that uh, was his favorite pipe, always kept it with him. He even had engraved on the uh, silver band, if lost, uh, or sorry, if found, please return to, and I think, uh, you know, he had the old address of the Peterson shop or something like that. But uh, for the 140th anniversary, they made a copy of it. So this is the commemorative pipe that came out 10 years ago, and it's very nice. It's got a nice feel and a nice big size. Hmm? And as I always like to break in my Peterson pipes with a Peterson tobacco, and it's usually Old Dublin, I didn't have any on me, so I went down to my tobacconist yesterday, Bladder and Bladder, and what did I see at Bladder and Bladder? Peterson's new tobacco. They have released three new blends in 100 gram tins. So this is the 1865 blend. It's a nice English, a luxury blend of the finest tobacco leaves and Latakia provide a full-bodied smoke for the seasoned pipe smoker. Now this is in the vein of Old Dublin, which is kind of my go-to tobacco. It's, uh, uh, you know, it might not be the best tobacco in the world, but it's something that I can smoke all day, every day, never get tired of it, always treats me well, and I just really like it. And I'm also, you know, I'm a bit of a Peterson fan, but, um, you know, that being said, there's the majority of Peterson tobaccos I don't care for because they're aromatics, but the Old Dublin, it does it for me every time. And they're in the same vein, but uh, the 1865, it's a little smokier, whereas the Old Dublin's a little on the sweeter side, but uh, very pleasant smoke, I'm enjoying it. They also had, um, Two other ones, I don't recall the, the name of them now, but one was uh, an oriental, it was a very strange composition. It was an oriental with, uh, you know, some vanilla and mango or, you know, something weird. Where I wouldn't picture oriental tobaccos going with, like, uh, light aromatics, but who knows. And they had another one, uh, I think it was Signature Flake or something like that. And I don't, I think that would be closer to maybe... Irish flake, you know, a, a strong flake, but I went for the nice English. So here's what it looks like. Nice colors in there. And it actually looks very similar to the Old Dublin. Um, presentation, color, they, they look very, very similar, but the new 1865 is smokier, but it's, uh, it's quite nice. So if you like Old Dublin, by all means, once this becomes available in your area, uh, pick it up, try it. I would have liked to have tried all three of the new blends, but the Canadian uh, taxes on tobacco are incredibly high. So 100 grams of 1865 cost me 60 bucks Canadian so that's about 40 40 dollars 40 something dollars US but that's still twice as much as what uh, most of you pay there in the States but I don't think it's available at the uh, e-tailers yet I haven't seen it um, but it will be soon so by all means try some of the new uh, Peterson tobaccos this one it's it's very nice uh, it didn't change my life, but I'll definitely buy some more and I'll, uh, you know, that'll be in my rotation. It's a nice blend. Nice smoky, rich, good English blend. Uh, and, you know, what else can you ask for? If you like Latakia, 
Um, it's not a Latakia bomb, but it's definitely in the foreground. But, you know, they didn't force it. It's not ridiculously uh, smoky. It's just a nice, well-blended tobacco. So, by all means, try it out. And, try a little coffee on the mustache. If you ever get a chance to get yourself a 140th anniversary Peterson pipe, don't do it. But by all means, let me know about that pipe so I can buy another one. Because I really like this. Um, it's also uh, it's a filter pipe. And that's one thing I've noticed about Peterson pipes. I really like their filter pipes, but without filters. Um, you get the, uh, the filter pipe without the filter, and it just opens up the draw, and it's really nice. So Don't forget. If you get a chance to uh, buy one of these 140th anniversary commemorative pipes, don't do it. It's not worth it. But be sure to contact me so I can buy it. I would like to get a smooth version of this with the uh, tapered stem, but you know maybe that'll be in the future. Who knows? But I at least got one, and these are uh, really hard to find, so I was very happy to get this. Uh, I don't really have very much to say. I'm not going to do a tobacco review per se because I, I can't I can't do it. You know I, I don't have the imagination. I don't have the palate for it. But um, just wanted to bring this to your attention. You know, nice artwork, nice smoke. If you like Englishes, you won't be disappointed. It's it's very nice. It's a it's a good quality tobacco, as you know, Petersons generally are. I don't care for their aromatics, but the. Uh, you know, the old Dublin, the University Flake, the Irish Flake, um, even Hyde Park, that's uh, pretty good. Um, anyhow, wish you all a fantastic day, have a great weekend, and um, adios amigos, take care, and bye for now.